How you doing, everybody? Hey, it's Joe Henry, Lakeley Woods Tourism. And uh, uh, we were out, uh, two of us were out today uh, just for the morning. And we got a whole nice pile of saunders, but we also got a meal pellet. And you know, they call these poor man's lobster. They're actually really, really good. Uh, they call it a burbot, an eel pellet, a lot of names for it. It's actually a freshwater cod as well. But let me show you how to clean this fish. What we're ultimately going to do, you guys, is we're going to take the back straps off this eel pellet. So let me show you what that looks like here. I'm going to get this fish down and we're going to uh, just fillet it like a, kind of like a normal, uh, like you had a normal walleye or a northern or a bass or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that rib cage all the way down here. Right along that uh, backbone. All the way down to about the tail section. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut down against that rib cage to get that good meat. You can just hear the ribs on there. I'm just gonna just kind of all the way down there. And then what I'll do is when I get to that rib cage, I'm just gonna flay right over the top of it and get that nice piece of meat out of there. Just like so. And what I'll do is I'm gonna cut this off right about here just to get the the back straps there. There they go. And there, there what we have is a boneless piece of eel pulp filet. What I'll do then is I'm just going to skin it. And they're a little bit uh, kind of challenging to skin because their skin's kind of weird. But let me just get in there and try to get that meat off that skin without ripping that skin best we can. There you go. There's a nice chunk of eel pulp meat. And what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll cut it up in little chunks. And then we'll boil it in either uh, on salt water or 7-Up, and then we can uh, dip it in melted butter. And it's just like, they call it poor man's lobster. It's kind of like a cod, kind of like a lobster, but it's actually really good. Um, I've also had it broiled, and I've also had it um, fried, and it's actually good that way too. So if you come up to the Lake of the Woods and happen to catch a pellet, have a boat with a pellet, don't be afraid to uh, keep it and get that back straps off that baby, and uh, it's going to have a kind of a nice uh, appetizer for you. Hey, with that, if you want to find out more about fishing Lake of the Woods, Check out our website, it's lakeofthewoodsmn.com.